What's up, E3 members? Exciting day today. Jumping in the Carbon Cub and flying around South Florida. We're here at Banyan Air Service outside of one of their hangars, and I'm pretty excited because the last time I was down here flying, I was in an F-16, ripping around a little bit faster. Today we're gonna be maybe a little bit lower, maybe a little bit slower, but Brian and I are gonna jump in the Carbon Cub and go fly around South Florida. It's gonna be awesome. So Brian, yeah. you wanna go brief it up? Yeah, I mean, you know, what's so great about the Carbon Cub is, is those of you that fly it know, it's like you're up in the mountains and landing in grass strips and short takeoff, short, the whole stall, I mean, it's so awesome. But you know, when you get to fly this around like up Miami Beach or on the ocean, brings a whole new perspective to it. So I'm excited to do that today. So we're gonna fly today to, we're gonna head down south of uh, Fort Lauderdale into Miami. And it's an interesting flight because um, we're going through a whole bunch of air spaces. Unlike you flying in the F-16, you you got like, they give you a big waiver and you can do whatever you yeah, want. Right. Well, unfortunately, we've got a whole bunch of airspaces and levels that we got to deal with as we're going down and kind of duplicating your flights. But uh, we're going to start here, uh, runway nine out of Fort Lauderdale Executive, and we're going to get a straight out. And then we're going to take a right turn over the beach and we'll be somewhere 500, not 700 feet. And uh, we should be getting from Fort Lauderdale exec or Fort Lauderdale International, hopefully right down the beach, but we could get a, you know, stay three miles off coast right. outside their class C there. And then as soon as we pass their class C, they'll tell us to rejoin. And then immediately we're into Miami's airspace. So, you know, the fresh veil is not a big deal. We're below 3,500 feet. But as we get that little more south down into Miami, we're gonna have to find a place uh, like Hallover Inlet to make the cut into the intercoastal. So we're gonna head in the intercoastal. And then that intercoastal kind of cuts in half where the next veil comes down. The floor comes way down and we're gonna navigate underneath that. Hopefully Miami will be with us the whole time and they're, they're awesome done i gotta tell you miami controllers shout out to you guys because you've been so great to all of us that like to do this flight it's a very interesting flight and uh we'll be right down by city of miami we're going to take a left out governor's cut head down around key biscayne down into uh, stiltsville which is really cool you get to see some of that and then we'll come up miami beach and back up into uh, fort lauderdale here so it'll be interesting flight and a lot of fun i'm looking forward to you getting to see it at not 600 knots, but you're right, going to get to see it and actually look at stuff at about 100 knots or so. So this should be fun for you too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You did mention the Miami controllers, and I'll say I did a lot of air shows. I did a lot in Florida, so there's some bias there. But there's always a controller that's usually at one of these air shows that you get to meet. And the Miami controllers, again, shout out to them because I think those are the only ones I still stay in contact with, which is kind of a <laughs> rare thing to do. But they're used to the F-16 coming down there being the wrecking ball, and they were always very helpful. Uh, dealing with me. They probably just want me to land as soon as possible to get out of the way, you know, but exactly. awesome. All right, cool. Let's do our briefing and then we'll get going. Sounds good. All right, let's go. All right, John, so here we are in the E3 Carbon Cub FX3. So I'm going to just do a quick briefing and we'll uh, run through what we have here in the plane, safety equipment, all that kind of, I got to say though, it feels weird giving you a, a briefing, <laughs> but <laughs> different plane, you know, but, uh, we used to big old we gotta, planes now. We got to follow like, protocol and stuff. So Anyway, uh, of course, we're going to start here. We've got our pro our mixture, or I'm sorry, our we'll throttle fuel prop, prop on for a couple of seconds. Course, we've got our autopilot. You do have a level button on. This our is the IBBS. Awesome here. Then we get our master switch, avionics switch. This is our fuel our pump. We will use this on takeoff. If you come landing. across the top here, you'll see. We've got our fuel right above your head. We've got our Garmin inReach. When you use the flaps, you're going to give it a little back pressure, pull the trigger. As you're coming down, let the trigger go. Uh, Unlike your F-16, there's not a whole lot of buttons in here, <laughs> but you hit that and fly. So in this plane, we're going to be basically, um, we'll do all our run-ups and all that kind of stuff. And then uh, we get on a runway clear for takeoff. Of course, we're going to be taxiing appropriately where our stick's going to be. As soon as we uh, give a go to takeoff, you're going to full back on a stick, full throttle, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, we're flying. That's wild. So. I'm a little heavy, so today will be uh, <laughs> maybe maybe a thousand three and a half. Yeah, a couple of potatoes. <laughs> but um, that's basically what we're gonna do. So we'll just get the ball rolling, and you know, in this plane, you're not gonna get an air a speed indicator. It's going so slow that it doesn't even get. So you're kind of feeling the plane, as you yeah. know. So you're just gonna have to feel it and give it a little forward pressure, and then uh, you'll know when she's gonna want to come off the ground. Um, we'll probably climb out. We'll just keep it easy, like a little bit under 2,000 feet a minute okay. at this point. You know, we, we certainly gonna watch the airspeed on the climb out. And then, uh, so we'll do our flight. And uh, what we'll do is when we uh, get to level, grab both the throttle and the prop. This makes it easy. And you just come back with both of them at the same time until the prop gets to 2,300. Okay. Then just let the prop go and 
bring the throttle back to 2300. We'll just fly around it 2300 squared. Nice easy speed. We might even slow it down so we can see more. Okay. But pretty much just we'll just leave prop 2300 for the whole flight until we come in back in. Of course, the fuel pump will come off at takeoff and flaps will come off at takeoff. And I'll run the checklist for you. And okay. We'll go through that. Then uh, coming back in, we're going to uh, probably come back to about 1500 and then get our speed down to flap speed when we're in the pattern. Um, then on our approach, it's not typical as you know you actually might do this in the f-15 i'm not sure but f-16 i should say i'm not sure but it's not pitch for the power or pitch for the point power for airspeed in this plane it's you know we're going to look at the wing tips we want them up a few degrees from the horizon and then it's power to just basically sink into a three-point landing and we want to be over the numbers right about 55 knots okay as soon as we're close to the ground keep coming back into power keep pulling back keep pulling back and we should be like a marshmallow that just drops onto the if we do it right. Yeah, a marshmallow, we'll see, we'll see what happens here. So that's pretty much what the day's gonna look like. And uh, any questions? No, I know we're gonna be talking a good bit when we're flying around and uh, I'm excited to do this. It's been, it's been about a year and a half since I've been in the Carbon Cup, so it's be fun. Cool, we're gonna have a blast for sure. So we'll uh, get our seat belts on, get in there and uh, get rolling. Awesome. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Charlie Kilo, fly straight out, make clear the class Charlie airspace. That might not occur for takeoff. Way to go, straight out, 6-1 Charlie Kilo. All right, here we go. 1,000, 1, 1, 2, forward. You can fly whenever you want. All right, here we go. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? That thing wants to go. I'm flying over this piece of land. I'm probably doing about 600 knots or so. A little bit lower than this, uh, making a little bit more noise. The last pass you make, you know, most of the, obviously the show is happening out in front of the beach because that's where all the people are, but there's some maneuvers you have to go behind the crowd. And we're gonna fly the dedication pass routing basically, which is flowing out this direction, accelerating out, dropping down to about 200 feet and then coming across the crowd, doing about 600 plus knots, and you're pulling a sustained nine, nine and a half G pull for about 15 seconds. I mean, you just, the scenery doesn't get much better than here. I know you kind of talking about beforehand, like flying around the mountains. Obviously, it's a very different perspective, but for me, it's really cool to be able to do something like this, you know, because there's so much cool stuff to look at that you just don't get that opportunity to do that anywhere else, you know? But going fast in F-16, you're really looking at big reference points, so that's why I would use these bridges as my reference points. Being down low, that's where the fun is. All the, you know, the buildings, you, would see, you can see people out occasionally, like on the boat, and they're really waving their hands or waving a towel or something like that. Again, I always kind of take a minute to kind of appreciate just how cool and awesome this is, but coming down the government cut, again, this is where now I'd really be dropping it down low, you know, about 200 feet. If I wasn't at 550 plus, I'd be getting there trying to get to 600. You know, I'm looking at this building and you, know, you kind of think of like, you know, there are people standing here, one, that probably don't hear me coming. <laughs> that F-16 is going to come ripping around this building in a minute, but there's a really cool photo of me at 90 degrees of bank up here. And a guy who's standing on the balcony, I can assume he's drinking a beer. Uh, you know, you just got full plane form of the Viper just ripping around.
that photo is, the guy standing on the balcony. Not a bad spot to be. So the government cut, that was the furthest point south, because instead of turning right like we did, I'd be turning north, starting a 9 plus G pull, uh, doing the dedication pass. Spread the sound of freedom. And then we're heading into the bay here. We're down to Stiltsville. If you, if you look at it like you're 11 o'clock right now or 10 o'clock, you'll see some little houses on the water out there. And they're kind of lined up. So those are, we'll just go like south that, southwest, and then make the turn and go between them. And then come back up around the lighthouse and then we go up the coastline. Really fun flight. If anybody wants to do this flight, this is a, a really great flight to do. Really scenic. You could do either the west side of the intercoastal or the east side of the intercoastal on the inside and then head back up north on uh, the ocean. of people on it and Memorial Day weekend you know they estimated I think like 1.5 million people per day yeah instead of a uh, you know 100 knots here again be doing about 600 620 knots and start that nine and a half G pool you know so it's uh, a little bit more comfortable and easier on the spine on this flight and I can enjoy a little bit more of the scenery Beach shows are a little bit different. You have these really long shorelines. And again, you can be down low out here. But again, you can't cross over a building at 50 feet. That's gonna get a lot of attention uh, in a bad way. So you gotta kinda start to climb up. Uh, you can see they're the highest point. And about this point, you know, we're like a mile. You know, again, you're still going about 550, 575 in through here. And just start the gradual climb to get up above the buildings. Then a nice solid 9G pull to start bleeding that energy to work the rejoin with a P51 and the F35, or depending on what year, F22, P51. They're out there and they're flowing down government cut right now. So you're finished a nine and a half G pull because the goal here is to rejoin in front of the crowd, which you're managing trying to pick up the visual, lose about 400 knots and then work all the geometry to rejoin with those guys right at show center without overshooting. So again, this is a little bit easier on the neck and back right now, which is kind of nice. Not a bad day to go flying, you know? Well, E3 members, that was awesome. I hope you enjoyed today's flight. For me, it's awesome to be able to jump in a carbon cup, completely different than an F-16 or a triple seven, which might be apparent in the video, but to go retrace my steps in the F-16, doing the demo over South Beach, who gets to say they get to do that? I hope you enjoyed it. We got a lot more coming your way.